Well, good morning. It's uh, a Sunday and uh, we've got this Brazilian slate coping stone on the top of this wall. We have got a capillary groove on the underside to let the water drip down or a drip, a drip groove. But these coping stones have been laid on mortar and I'm always of the opinion over the years that coping stones are notorious for coming off. They get hit off on a regular basis. You can see we've got a little bit of mortar underneath there we have to clean up. So what we're going to do, my intention is, and I've done this many, many times before, we're going to do, use an exterior adhesive. We're going to knock those coping stones off and then we're going to bed them back down using a map eye in this case. Or we've got a Weber exterior adhesive for this situation and that will ensure that these coping stones will have some longevity and won't be coming off at any point. Well, it's Monday morning and uh, we're back on the project. I want to show you the, the steps that we laid yesterday. I can actually walk down them now. I've used the map eye on here. Sorry about the music in the background. But there you are. There's the steps there. And uh, they're looking good. And they're stacked. They're firm. And they're not going anywhere. I've tried those. Let's have a little look over here now. We've got a few manholes. Two manholes to do, not a few. We have got uh, some uh, back office to do. We've got to bring those up as well at some point to try to locate the ones I want. And this is the wall that we have. We, we're gonna to have to start rendering today. We're gonna to put the scratch coat on here today. But first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna seal that wall with this slurry mix, okay? 
and that's there's an SBR in there, cement, and uh, I have put a little bit of a gritty con sand in there as well, and that will bind it together. And we're going to put it on that brick wall, and hopefully that will stop all the moisture sucking out that wall. And we are going to put a mesh on there as well. Oh yeah, and the tiles on the top, the tiles that we laid the weekend, have gone off absolutely solid. They are not moving, not one bit. I wanted to uh, get this on a time lapse, but it's difficult to try and get the uh, the camera in this position here. But what I'm actually doing here is putting an SBR mix, a uh, bit of a slurry mix with some cement as well. Also, I've put some gritty sand in there. Literally, I think it's a con sand as well. So there's the brickwork there now. What we've got to try and do is we want to make sure that our render adheres to the wall. Okay, we are going to put a mesh on there. There's a bit of cracking on this wall further down, but not too bad. It's been here a long time, but you can see how I'm putting the slurry on. You can see the difference there, and we want the top coat to adhere to that, so we need to avoid all the moisture being sucked out of the render. Well, there you are. That red brickwork is now green brickwork, and it looks like we've painted it. But that is the SBR with some cement in it and we've got some uh, con sand as well to give it a bit of a texture. So we're going to let that go off now. It won't take long. That will uh, ensure the moisture doesn't suck through the wall. But as you can see, Dan has been cleaning off the paving. And some people are going to say, why didn't I do the wall before the paving? But that wasn't an option. Now this is an extra. So we just got to keep it nice and clean and we're doing it. We could put sheets down, but we know how to do it. We know how to clean. So now we're ready for the first coat. We've uh, got our mesh in and it's already nice and flat and we're going to get on with the other part. The idea that the mesh is that what we don't want with this wall because there was a little bit of cracking and the customer doesn't want the wall rebuilt. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we don't have any crazing or cracking that comes through on the wall at a later date and hopefully this will work but if it doesn't I'll redo it Well, just cleaning the ruby, and uh, I just want to show you something now. Uh, well, I said a little while ago that the ruby was a game changer. Well, it is a game changer, because I can tell you something now. We never had these years ago, and these machines are saving lives. That is at the bottom of the tray, the reservoir. Look at it, okay? And this is what is going in people's lungs day in, day out if you have a look at this now a little bit closer now look at this this is going in people's lungs okay it's got to change okay it doesn't matter what you're using you need to suppress it with water so important it's a game changer